Hey everyone, so you can see we got snow here in Connecticut. It's the first day that it snowed and I figured that I would take my Rad City out for a spin. And I was out for about 20 minutes. I did a 20 minute ride, went a few, few miles or several miles actually, about four miles. Um, and it was really fun. You can see that my bike has a lot of snow built up on here. Um, it's, you know, there's snow all over the place. But, but yeah, it was, it was really fun. The bike handled a lot better than I thought. Uh, what really helps are these, these uh, mountain bike tires here. And they were pretty grippy in the snow. And we got, you know, a solid like three to four inches today. Um, but, you know, throughout the day, the uh, snow plows would come through and scrape up the snow. So the actual street wasn't that bad. It was about maybe an inch. Um, but this bike handled, handled pretty well, better than I actually thought. Um, I'm actually, you know, I just moved here and uh, from California, so we have no experience like this. So that's kind of one reason why I wanted to get out and see what it was like, you know, riding in the snow. I saw a bunch of people post their videos of them riding in the snow. And with the Rad City is actually not that bad. The only few times that I almost fell was during the corners. Um, and, you know, that was kind of towards the tail end of, of my ride when I was getting comfortable and I was kind of treating this bike like a dirt bike and going around the corners fast with just a throttle only and trying to, you know, pretending like I'm hitting a berm. But, yeah, I think I was just getting a little overconfident at that point. But... If you just take take your time on this bike, um, especially with the electric assist, that you know that really helps out a lot. There were a few times when the snow was pretty deep in certain areas, and I could feel my bike um, shaking a little bit. And so at that point, you know, I was I was ready with my feet kind of out, but I was still be able to move because you know I had that throttle that could still propel me um, so yeah I just wanted to share my experience with you guys I didn't get a chance to actually film my ride and I'm super bummed about that I really wanted to do that maybe tomorrow um, if the you know if the snow stops but um, I didn't want my camera to get to get uh, wet here so yeah um, hopefully I can do another ride for you guys soon but just wanted to share my experience and we'll see, you know, if my bike turns on tomorrow. <laughs> um, you know, Red Power Bikes is based out of Seattle. So they get a lot of, you know, snow and stuff. Or not snow, sorry, rain. Um, and from some of the interviews I've listened to on YouTube, uh, the guys at Red Power Bikes are talking about how this bike can handle that type of conditions as long as you... You know, as long as you don't let the bike sit out in the rain for a long time. So I'm guessing it's the same idea as, as the snow. Just letting, you know, letting the bike dry out. And I'm for sure going to take my battery inside. Um, but yeah, uh, that's about it. If you guys have any questions about, you know, other things about my ride tonight. Or if you guys want to see a snow ride in the day where I can actually film it. Just let me know and... Um, hopefully I can do that if it's not snowing too bad. Um, all right, I'll see you guys in the next one.